It's coding time with Clever Coding. This is the eighth video of the ongoing C++ series and boy oh boy we've covered a lot. So now we're gonna start file handling as promised. So opening up dev C++ and including our header files. Yes. Man, I always get this wrong. Okay, it's a little small. Let me big. Okay, that's awesome. So in file handling, we include another header file, and it's called file stream. This is the net new header file we include when doing file handling. So what is file handling? Like, suppose if I tell you that our programs are only limited to inside the IDE and the console, uh, we can't like implement something like outside of it like if we want to edit a file a text file want to edit some different kind of file modify it image file anything because the computer is made up of different files whether you're an mp3 file or an mp4 file or an svg file or a ping or a jpeg these are all computer files and they're built with specified formulas and these kind of stuff so programs are built to modify them so in files uh, file stream the header file we this is basically a header file and when we just include this it opens up a bundle of functions and so many specifications that we could use and we could use so basically one uh, one function that the file stream includes is called the file uh, output file stream so o f s t r e a m so output file stream this is when you want to output your file or maybe you want to write a file so basically if I say O file so over here is the output file stream is basically uh, in simple words I call this as a variable okay so this output file stream is a variable and the value to this is O file so meaning like we used to declare variables like integer uh, uh, number okay so just suppose that this is the same process and you know that these integers are used uh, are data types and the number is the uh, identifier that's what you call it the name and same similarities this op output file stream is the thing that we say as the data type and the O file is the name I could name this as anything I want I could say uh, file I could say Johnny I don't know that just came in my mind so I could just call it I, I'll call it O file for more simplicity and O file stands for output file so that was done okay now now what so now we could just like open the file like O file and then we use the dot operation and then look at this now this is like a lot of functions that this could handle so we use the O file dot open function and then we put the curly braces and you can see a lot of stuff coming in my compi my IDE giving me hints that I could use all of these stuff okay so now I include the double codes and write any kind of name I want for a file I could call it like text dot txt okay now dot txt is the file extension for the text you know those uh, text documents and now I could write that's it all I need is this and then a semicolon now what this basically is going to do whatever there the program is directed to let me save this first so i'm in not this one but the other one c++ folder okay so this is my c++ folder and over here i'm going to name this uh, as something like handle and i don't have to write the extension because the handle is specified like that okay handle already exists no let me change it to handle one okay so handle one is my file name and now there's a text.txt and where this is gonna appear this is gonna be something that will appear this is my c++ folder and when I open it you can see a lot of code and then uh, my handle one is right here and this is my path so this is my path and inside this path you're gonna see 
that the text file will also appear that text.txt that's like amazing uh, let's make it a little better by making it something like pokemon.txt okay so now that pokemon text file will appear automatically by or program it programmatically okay so now what i'm gonna do is that i could output stuff inside it uh, remember like c out console output this is basically when we use io stream input output stream and this is uh this like displays the text in our terminal screen the black box but if we want the other uh like if you want to display in a file a text file we'll have to name the file like whatever we named it we say o file and then we put the same uh in insertion operation these are called insertion operators and then we could like whatever we want to write we could say pokemon then got oh man gotta catch them oh i love pokemon okay so this is done now what now i could do something like no yeah the other thing is that when once you're done using this file you have to close it so close with this operation and the semicolon at the end all right so once the file is saved i'm going to execute it by going in the execute button and compile and run terminal screen is not going to show any single thing there's a blank thing okay but uh what i'm confused what happened look i go back i go back to the c plus plus folder and what i see is that a pokemon text file appeared wow how this happen? And look at the time, 11:41, 11:41. I'm not lying. This appeared once. And and if I open this, it's saying Pokemon got to catch them all. Whoa, that is awesome. Okay, so that was cool. It created a text file for us randomly. Okay, now what happens if I change it a little bit? Uh, like for instance, I could put a while loop inside of it, and I could like name it as. Uh, for instance, I could tell something like, I can say, how much time do you want to write it? And I could say test case. Look, I'm gonna write test case. And before this, I could put something called an integer test. And uh, the test will tell define how many times you want Pokemon gotta catch them all appearing on the screen. So I'm gonna enclose this in curly braces so that it's in a while loop and then save it. Okay, and now execute and compile and run now you got to focus this really carefully you're gonna have to uh, look at this so now i'm gonna do 100 okay 100 is done nothing happened going back to my c plus plus folder you're gonna see this pokemon i'm gonna open up and look at that pokemon gotta catch them all 100 times and they're not like in line by line sequence because i didn't i forgot to include the end line uh and if I include this end line, you're going to see that it's going to be even better. So execute, compile, and run. And uh, let's do 1000. And then after that, I go over here. And then you're going to see Pokemon got to catch them all 1000 times without me writing it 1000 times. That was awesome. Hope you like this one. Next one, we're going to talk about input file streams because I don't want this video to get any longer. So see you in the next one. Bye.